rare form of cancer has left Rick Crusoe and his family only one hope, a drug trial that might prolong his life. But the treatment wasn't covered, and it took a month to convince the city where he'd worked as a firefighter to make an exception. During that month, he got sicker and sicker. All right, just open your mouth. No, no, but you got to put it in your mouth. Okay, suck. Keep going. You tired? You done? Good job. Good job. Thank you. Now, in his weakened condition, Rick no longer qualifies for the drug trial. Long days are spent in the hospital, trying to get him stronger, hoping he might re-qualify. It's an agonizing race against time. They approved up to 250,000. Um, so, but the thing is, Dr. Dweck, you and I both know, is it a little bit too late? Irene's here. Irene. Friends visit. What a big girl. The granddaughter takes her first uncertain steps. Kisses. Give puppy kisses. Mm. He said, I don't want to die because I want to see my grandchildren grow up. Some nights, Debbie sleeps at the hospital. Other nights, she reluctantly drives home. As tired as I am, I don't want to leave him because you don't know from one minute to the next what's going to happen and things haven't been going well and if God takes him from me, I want to be there holding his hand. I don't want him to go by himself, and I just don't give up on the hope. But at the hospital the next morning, it's clear that hope for prolonging his life with a trial drug is quickly fading. The nurse came in to try to wake him up to give him his medicine, and he just wouldn't respond. So... She called another nurse, so they said he needed to go to ICU. The next thing I know, people come running, and they come running in with this red cart, and they called it a crash cart. And it just freaked me out. It just totally freaked me out. <laughs> His condition is dire. He's trying to tell me something. Oh. I can't make a decision. I beg you, God, please don't put me in that predicament. I don't want to make that decision of whether to put him on life support. I don't want to make that decision. Then, what they think may be their last goodbyes. Dad, I love you with all my heart. I love you. <laughs> You know you're my hero. You are my hero forever and ever. You are the love of my life, Rick. The love of my life. There is never, ever anyone like you in this whole world. Can you hear me, baby? Yes, he can hear you. <laughs> Take care of them, guys. Sorry. Rick Russo passed away in October with his family by his side. There will always be controversy when it comes to life or death decisions. First of all, it is extremely complicated health care. Health care expert Andrew Rubin says the hole in the Crusoe's coverage and the month it took to plead with the city made a painful time even worse. But he says the sad truth is that paying for every life-extending treatment for every patient is not realistic. The costs uh, to the medical system are highest at the, end of, at the end of life, and we often don't get better outcomes when we spend more money on end-of-life care. And he says no reform will eliminate the controversy that comes with deciding when enough is enough. We are inherently wired as people to hang on and do whatever we can to save ourselves. Ultimately, unless we're willing to pay for that individually, the insurance company is going to be making that decision for us. In the overwhelming majority of cases, things go smoothly. Susan Pisano is with America's Health Insurance Plans, an industry trade group. She says that for the most part, insurers are carrying out the directives of employers who foot the bill for most of the nation's health care. And with the price of medical care soaring, it makes economic sense to try to keep the cost down. But when there is a dispute, the industry says it supports streamlining the appeals process. 
what happens in the close calls. It's understandable that if you have a service that you want and think can benefit you, you want it to be covered. They have thrived. They've made tons and tons of, made billions of dollars. But uh, this former system. insurance they industry insider is speaking out about a system he like says is motivated by just one thing, the bottom line. They're going to find a way to make money, and the way they're going to find a way to make money is to avoid paying claims.